Hi friends, uh, just now we done uh, practical support water. If uh, else, if, if else, uh, LF, right? Good. Now we'll think about the iteration statements. Tell me, what is the purpose of iteration statements? Only one point regarding iteration statements. If you want to execute the group of statements repeatedly or more number of times. So if you want to execute what a group of statements, like one uh, group of statements repeatedly or a number of times, simply can go for what a iteration statements. See the name itself saying iteration, iterate the data, right? Good, that's it. So generally in Python, we have the iterate statements, we have the for loop and we have the while loop. So we will discuss the all the points regarding for loop and the while loop. Uh, then we'll think at the practicals. So tell me here, what is the syntax of for, for loop in uh, Python here? So now here we'll discuss about what uh, for loop here. Come here to the for loop. Uh, the syntax of for loop is for you can take here temporary variable for temporary variable uh, for temporary variable here uh, in uh, you can say sequence data or iterable data mm. sequence a uh, sequence data here you can take uh, so observe the syntax here just here you can write the colon so observe the point here for temporary variable in a uh, uh, sequence data the sequence data everything is okay here you can write the statement or what a uh, statements right so that's it for temporary variable in sequence data see here after in you can write the data the data must be iterable data the data must be what a uh, iterable data iterable data means what i want repeat number of times see if you have the list of data we can iterable if you have the array data we have to iterable so like that so for temporary variable in sequence data this data must be iterable data right so you can iterate the data right that's it see to understand this for loop uh, first of all we must know the range function actually see in python we have the range function what about range here i want print the data some specific range to print the data specific range you can go for range for range range keyword here range of 10 so range of 10 means what by default it prints the data 1 to 10 like 0 to 10 Sir, no, starting value to the up to 10 value. In order than sir, just I want the data. So range of uh, range of what? 4 to 10. Here that value will be starts with what? Hmm. Here the value will be starts with what? 4 up to 10, right? 4 to 10. Otherwise, then sir, I don't want this value. Just a range of. I want range is 5 to hmm, 5 to 20, but increment value is by 2. Increment value by 2. So like that. See, range of 10 means starting value to the up to the 10. Range of 4 to 10 means starts with 4, ends with 10. So, range of 5 to 20, the increment value is how much here? 2. See, by default, the increment value is what? 1. So, if you want increment value more than 1, here, comma, we have to specify the increment value. Right? Good. So, here, we can specify the negative values also. Range of, uh, tell me, range of minus. So, here, you have to give the starting value, right? See, a range of minus 20 to the, a minus 20 is what a lower value. So, minus 10 is the hmm, higher value, right? Come on, yaar. positive means 5 is the lower value, 20 is the bigger value. Negative means what? Minus 20 is a lower value, minus 10 is higher value. I want increment by 3, like that. Okay, clear, huh? so like that. See, here you can do the decrement also. So, how to the decrement here, tell me here. So, range of, hmm, range of, here you can give the 10 value. Here I want decrement to 5, by increment is what, a minus 3. Here observe one point here. Uh, if you give the positive value, you have to give the starting value and ending value. So, 5 to 20 will be printed by incrementing 2. Okay, but here I want decrement the value, right? I want to print the 10 to 5. So, start with the 10, uh, decrement by 5. By decrement value is how much here? Minus 3. So clear? Huh? So to work with the for loop, first of all, we know we have to know what a uh, range function actually. Range of 10, uh, range of 4 to 10, uh, range of 5 to 20, increment by what? Uh, 2, range of minus 20 to minus 10, increment by 3, range of uh, range of what? Uh, 10, uh, 5. What is the decrement value here? Minus 3. So clear? Huh? So once if you know range function, then I, I can apply this data here. Then how to apply the data? Tell me here. You can take the for loop. Uh, for temporary variable, I am taking some x is a temporary variable, x in, uh, here you have to go for the range, the range of 10, uh, range of 10 uh, colon, here simply can write the print of x, so sim simply print the x, uh, you will get the output, check the output once, you print the 1 to 10 values like that, 
so otherwise if you have to go for for loop uh, for x in uh, x in what range of x in range of what 4 to 10 so colon here syntax is what a uh, colon here also simply can go for what a uh, print of uh, x right uh, print of x means what it still prints from 4 to 10 values okay 4 to 10 values right otherwise simply can go for the for x in uh, hmm, tell me x in uh, range uh, x in range of what uh, i want to go for the 4 to 20 I want to go for the 4 to 20. The increment value is what? Uh, 3. So here, colon simply can go for what? Print of, uh, print of what? Uh, X, right? That's it. We clear? Uh? So this is the information about your for loop. For temporary variable. See, I will do the practicals more regarding these all the points. See, if you will do the small, small modifications and we are doing the, uh, or you will check the number of possibilities, right? We will check the number of possibilities. Uh. Clear? Uh? This is called about range. This is about what a for loop and a temporary variable in sequence data. Hmm? This is the way how to print the data, right? Good. Clear? Uh, for example, here, so I hope you know the range function, right? Range to represent the data. Good. The next value here, I want to print the list data. See, the list contains the data, the square brackets, 10, 20, 30. Just I want to print the data. Tell me, if you want to print the data, tell me the syntax. Hey, tell me the syntax here. What is the syntax here? Just you can write the for loop uh, x. Hey, don't take reference or why always you are taking x. Temporary variable you can take any data, right? So for x, hmm, simply in L1. So L1 is what? A trouble data, right? Simply can write the print x value. That's it. So it means what? Just you are passing your L1 value, list value to the X, just to print the X value. Then 10 is printed, 20 is printed, 30 is printed. Clear? Otherwise, if you want, you can take the tuple data. T1 equal to, so tuple means uh, parentheses 10, 20, 30. Here also same point uh, for uh, mm, X in, uh, tell me, T1 uh, colon, just you are printing what? Uh, printing what? X, right? That's it. Uh, so here uh, this data must be which data iterable data this is x is nothing but temporary variable clear so this is a way how to write what uh, how to write the for loop syntax here observe one more point so while declaring the for loop along with the for loop you can give the along with the for loop uh, you can give what uh, else also so when the else block is executed see first we will check the syntax here here we have the for loop uh, for what is syntax here uh, for x some temporary variable in sequence data sequence data assume l1 is there here you can write the statement or what uh, statements along with this for loop you can write else block then tell me here else block or here you can write the statement or what uh, statements so for loop along with the for loop you can take what uh, else block See, this else block is executed always if the for is executed normally. So whenever the for loop is executed normally, then automatically else block will be executed. Okay, then automatically else block will be executed, right? That's it. Then sir, you said if for loop is executed normally, then only else block is executed. Is there any chance is there else block is not executed? See, in two cases, the else block is not executed. So what are the two cases? Coming to two cases here, so in for loop, I want to print some data, hmm. for, how to print the data here, for, let me clean the board, Good. for, what is syntax I said, for i in, simply can write the range, simply in range, I want to print the 4 to 10 values, colon, hmm. just I want to print, uh, just I am printing i value, that's it. This is for loop. Here simply can write the else block. Uh, else block uh, simply can write the print of. Here you can write ratanit.com. Okay, what is our website here? Ratanit.com. You can check my website. Uh. Hmm? Good. Here what is the point? Uh, 4 to 10 values will be printed. Then else block, uh, ratanit will be printed, right? But ratanit is printed. So else block is not executed in two cases. What are the two cases? The case one. Coming to the case one here. See, assume here I read an else block. Here simply can write the print of uh, print of what uh, this is my this is my ratanit.com, right? 
that's it. How many cases else block is not executed here? Two cases else block is not executed. The case number one. Put the case number one here. In for loop, I written the print of print of 10 by 0. Tell me here, 10 by 0 means which error here? Zero division error, right? A for loop print of 10 by 0 means which error here? Zero division error. Whenever the zero division error is encountered, then what happened here? For loop is terminated normally or abnormally here? Abnormally. If it is terminated abnormally, then 10 by uh, else block executed or not executed here? Not executed. So this is a one case where the else block will be not executed. Be clear? Huh? Good. What is another case here? The another case is just to see. Here I'm using if condition. If uh, Mm. i double equal to 2 if i double equal to 2 otherwise simply can write the if uh, i double equal to i return 6 if i double equal 6 uh, simply let me use the break statement so in for loop whenever we are using break statement the loop execution stop right whenever the loop execution stop uh, in this case all sales block is not executed so in this case all sales block executed not executed uh, not executed See, uh, for loop to iterate the data, for temporary variable in sequence data, print that sequence data, whatever the data you want. Uh, along with the for loop, you can take the range. So if you want to iterate the data in a multiple times, you can go for range. So otherwise, along with the for loop, you can take what? Along with for loop, you can take what? Else block, right? What I said, else block is always executed if the for loop is executed normally. See, but some cases else block is not executed. So mainly how many cases else is not executed?